Hello everybody, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. Happy 888. Today is the Lion's Gate portal and we have a slight change of plan so please bear with me. My original intention was to have a live um, 888 Lion's Gate activation this morning and out of the blue I have a meeting at 11 and I had um, been talking about how the Lion's Gate can bring out of the blue opportunities because it's opening all new timelines and that actually has happened for me. And so the second change of plan was I was going to do a guided meditation um, on the sacred beach with our lion and our lioness getting the key to the Lion's Gate. But when I woke up this morning, I was tapping into Tibetan Buddhist Tantric teachings. And so that's what we're going to go with today. The theme of the Lion's Gate is wholeheartedness. The theme of the Lion's Gate is pure potentiality, pure potentiality, limitlessness. Today is a day where all parts of your life can start anew. And over the last couple of months, it has been very much a feeling of falling apart. But today is the day that it all comes back together and in a higher vibrational way, in a way that serves you um, and your divine mission and cosmic purpose here on earth. So, the, like I said, the guided meditation was going to be on the sacred beach with the lion and the lioness, merging the divine masculine and the divine feminine, and getting the key to the lion's gate. You can do that on your own. And um, I'm actually going to do that meditation um, later on this afternoon when I meditate. But what I want to talk about and the heart chakra activation for today, because the lion's gate is all about the heart, Leo the lion heart. And um, I am an expert in this because I'm a Leo and I've always led with my heart and I always thought I was crazy because I led with my heart. But leading with your heart and allowing how you feel to propel you forward or to redirect you is truly the definition of living in 5D. 3D is the dimension of doing, and we still have to do. We're still here on Earth, and there are things that require us to actually do them to be accomplished. But I'm talking about living inside of yourself. The 5D New Earth Consciousness is a paradigm that exists inside us, inside humans, when we choose to live in that vibration. And sometimes it might spit us out, and that's okay. You can always get back in. But... The concept of 5D is heart-based living. And the reason why I started to tap into these Tibetan Buddhist Sutra Tantric teachings this morning is because these Tibetan monks are these epic magicians. They are esoteric masters and they understand heart-based living and have been studying this for thousands and thousands of years. And there are actually three components. There is a trinity that makes up the three components of the heart. So that's what I'm going to talk about in this video today. And that relates to twin flame unions. It relates to the ascension path. And it is a, um, it's a way that you can um, start to further understand and integrate the 5D energies. Okay, so let's get started with the three components of this tantric, wholehearted concept. And um, the first is the concept of the Bodhisattva. And that, I wrote these down so I didn't forget. And also, I want to just mention, I channel things that I don't know anything about. And if you have taken, um, I'm going to have a sip of coffee. Okay. If you have taken any online classes with me, you've heard me say this a million times before, oh, I had all of this planned for the class, but now I'm channeling this and I don't even know anything about it. So sometimes um, I am working, not sometimes, I'm working on being the clearest channel so that I can just deliver the information. 
but I also do like to explain how it resonates for me so that you can then decipher how it resonates for you. So in this ex explanation of this concept of this wholehearted, this tantric heart that is um, a uh, Tibetan Buddhist uh, concept, you can do the same as with all of the messages, decipher how this resonates for you and decipher how this is applicable to your fifth dimensional life and living. Okay. Like I said, I don't know anything about these concepts until I started channeling it this morning. And I am going to, after I um, finish this video, I'm going to go back and look at, I'm going to Google this and look it up. But I didn't want to do that before I explained it because I want the energy to be pure. And like I said, if you've taken a class with me, you know this happened one time. The muses all came, and which are... Um, uh, these little deities, these beautiful goddesses, um, and I couldn't even pronounce their names. They were trying to spell me their names. And I, I mean, it was like, my personality did not know this information. It was all channeled. Okay, so now that I've explained that caveat, let's get started. So these are the three concepts of wholeheartedness. And like I said, the first level or the first concept is the compassionate love and pay it forward dharma of liberating suffering. So that's the first concept, is the liberation of suffering. And bodhisattvas are these magical celestial beings who are spirit guides and whose mission is to liberate anyone and anything from any kind of suffering. And this concept opens the heart chakra, I mean, immediately. Feel it when I say it. The first concept of wholeheartedness is the idea of the liberation of suffering through compassion and love via ourselves and for others. Okay, so the second part of wholeheartedness, the second part of this concept is accurate perception. And I've spoken about this before, about the wisdom of the heart. And this is a big shift for an intellectual person to be able to shift into heart knowing, into heart wisdom, and then let the mind catch up instead of the way we've been living in Western society with the mind uh, leading and then the heart trying to catch up. Well, in 5D living, in 5D paradigm, it's the other way around. The mind catches up with the heart-based wisdom. Okay. The other aspect of this concept um, is the emptiness of all things. And what that really means is all energy is in motion. And even though this chair, even though this seems solid, it's still empty because all of these molecules have void spaces in between them. Even though our eyes can't perceive that something is in motion, it might appear to be solid, it's not. Everything is always in motion and truly objects are empty. They're empty in terms of Love and joy comes from inside, not from outside of ourselves. Objects, if we're still looking at outside and external things to give us joy, an object, a person, a circumstance, that will um, not allow us to be in 5D. That will plunk us right back into 3D because that gets into victimhood and blah, 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 blah. Okay? And so this is the second concept, the concept of the heart having accurate perceptions and the heart knowing being um, pure, being organic, being holistic, being natural. Okay, this is the cool part. This is the third aspect. So the third part of the wholeheartedness is the primal, is the raw, is the down and dirty, amazing mind-blowing sex it is that day that you are strutting around because you feel so sexy okay so the third part is the instinctual the animalistic this messy hair okay this essence I've talked about this in other videos as well that raw tone Okay, 
So when we mix all of these three aspects together, this is the sutra, this is the teaching and the beginning of how we understand wholeheartedness. And when we have felt that 3D is just, just anchoring us in density and suffering, we can go back to these concepts and elevate our consciousness back into the heart-based knowing and all three of these aspects working in perfect harmony. So let's just feel into this for a second. Let's just feel into this. I have the compassionate side that truly has empathy for everyone's suffering and knows the way to liberate suffering is through love and compassion. And that starts with ourselves. Having love and compassion for our journey, love and compassion for all of the events and things that have happened over the last few months, and having love and compassion as we move forward in this place of, um, of not knowing, which could be a little bit uncomfortable. But when we're heart-based, we can have that faith and that trust that these bodhisattvas, these celestial beings, are working on our behalf behind the scenes, and um, we're leaving the details up to them. Okay. But truly, that bodhisattva energy and all guides and angels are not outside of ourselves. They're inside. And when I do the 13th Circuit um, video, I'm going to explain all the strands of DNA all the different chakra levels and what the 13th circuit um, consciousness is. And then you will begin to understand more deeply when I say the guides and angels are not outside of us, but actually part of us because they're in our DNA and in our heart. Okay, so then the second part, the accurate perception, the concept that the heart knows that there is no higher level of wisdom than heart wisdom. And heart wisdom always trumps ego mind. The ego mind catches up with the heart wisdom. The heart wisdom provides the ego mind with the epiphanies, with the ahas, with the revelations. I can tell you how many times in a session someone's heart chakra opens so big. It happens almost every time. I mean, I don't even know what I'm saying sometimes. It happens every time. Someone's heart chakra, a client's heart chakra opens so big in a session that their mind starts to go do, 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 do. But it's not because the mind created these epiphanies, these revelations, these ahas, these these clarity moments. It's because the heart provided the mind with that vibration. And then we hang up or we're about to hang up. And this is what is typically happening at the end of a session is someone's going, Kristen, oh my gosh, I'm realizing this. I'm realizing that. Oh my gosh, I'm having epiphany after epiphany. And then they'll email me the next day and say, Kristen, I was having epiphanies all night long. I'm still having them. I'm realizing exactly what's been going on. So the heart-based wisdom, when we make that the priority of listening to it, of accessing it, of allowing it to grow, the mind will catch up. Then the third, the raw, the sexual, the owning your sexuality. The best sex you're ever going to have is twin flame sex. Karmic um, soulmate sex might be um, instantly gratifying, but that's all. That's all. Is truly when hearts connect on this tantric level in this sutra this is an unconditional love um, vibration and expression of pure raw sexuality pure tone and it will heal it will activate it will create it will um, it will anchor love across the whole planet and assist others to anchor 5d in their own lives so in the macrocosm of twin flame unions, it is a, an, essential, an essential part of the ascension of Mother Earth back into the love grid. When two people come together in this type of love and then make love, the ripple effect of love spreads across the entire planet. And so when we are accessing all three of these aspects of ourselves, our chakra systems actually shift. So what happens when we're living wholehearted is the heart becomes the center. And all of these chakras go down to activate and to integrate within the heart because 5D is not pineal gland or crown chakra based. 
Like I said, it's heart chakra, but the pineal gland and the crown chakra and the throat chakra all work in tandem to send information that is then deciphered by the heart. And then the lower chakras, they come up, right? So we're connected above and connected below. And in the middle, what is the mastermind? What is the, um, the hardware, right? What is the hub? It is the heart. The divine knowing and clarity and wisdom of the heart. So these upper chakras are now coming up to meet the lower chakras, excuse me, are now coming up to meet the upper chakras. And at this conjunction of the heart chakra, when all three of these levels are activated, you're in your pure potentiality, you're in your limitlessness, you're in the miracle zone, you're accessing your divine tone. So if you listen to one of my videos and have absolutely no idea what I just said. It means you need to listen again. It means that these vibrations are higher than where your consciousness level is and they're saying, come this way, come this way. When I first started listening to spiritual teachings, I would have no idea what they said the first time around. I had to listen again, sometimes even two or three or four or five, six times to parts of what was what, what I couldn't quite um, integrate. So it just means you need to listen again so that you can catch up to the vibration because these are all new concepts, right? This is what I'm channeling. This is cutting edge. This is leading edge of consciousness. And I read into the collective and then I am a spiritual and esoteric reporter. That's really what I've been considering myself lately um, since this YouTube channel has evolved. So like I said, the themes for the Lion Gate, the Lion's Gate, are living wholehearted, living and feeling our way forward in 5D, living in the present moment because 5D is right here and right now. It's not anxiety of the past. It's not fretting about the future. It's owning my empowerment here and now with an open heart chakra ready to love and be loved and ready to give and receive abundance. So this way of living takes practice. And um, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm still practicing. I still get clumped down in 3D and got to climb back up into 5D. But there is a liberation that exists in this place of, like I've said, you don't have to worry about the details. You your job as a human is to access your heart chakra. And then the details are left to the guides, the angels, the universe, the gods, the goddesses, whatever your particular belief system is. But that higher power, that celestial energy, they've got your back. And that's what the Lion's Gate wants you to know. You're not going it alone. Your heart is guiding the way and you can learn to trust that. So I'm wishing you lots and lots of love, holding space for all of our collective timelines to open. And um, I'm super excited that I had some movement this morning. And um, I know all of you are going to experience movement in the next coming weeks and months because that's what the Lion's Gate is all about. And so let's just love, bless, and release all of those timelines that are closing and let's allow ourselves to step confidently into the vibration of wholeheartedness. Namaste, everybody. Happy Lionsgate.